Hi everyone, my name is Sonia and um, I am excited to share with you Amy Howard's new Miracle Paint. I'm going to be doing the front door here for a client on a, an addition they did in, on the front um, side of their house. It's not the true front entry, but it is on the front, so curb appeal is very important. Um, you can find me at Sonia Burgess blog on Instagram and then my blog name is SoniaBurgess.com. Easy enough. But anyway, I'm super excited to share this new product with you. Um, it dries in an hour and there's no prep work needed. So I'm really, really excited and it's made to hold up to um, the outdoors, the weather, the sun, the winters, regardless of where you live. So I'm going to be sharing the uh, process of getting ready and painting the door. So enjoy. Okay, so with this Amy Howard Miracle Paint, it dries within the hour. There's really no prep work, um, no sanding, no anything like that, unless there are some things on your door that need to be sanded. If it's an older door and it has rough places, you might want to sand that down, but this paint does not require it. Um, this door is not very old less than a year or right at a year so I did wipe it down with a warm cloth but that is all the prep work that is needed I know that a lot of people may be intimidated about painting a front door but I feel like having a uh, complimentary color to the exterior of your home like this is khaki siding taupe khaki um, and having a pop of color really adds to the curb appeal. And like I said, this is a, an addition to a little cottage style home and the front door was already painted. So I'm matching it as best I can with this color from Amy Howard. Let's show you this color. It's called Holy Moly. So I am done with wiping down the door. The only other thing I am gonna do is tape off the window here so that um, I don't get paint on that and the doorknob and the lock. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so Amy Howard Holmes sent this nice tapered brush, and I am going to use that. And I'm going to paint the edges um, here where the door closes first. So since that dries in an hour, so that I can get it painted and get it dry, so that the door can close. I live in the South; it's really hot and humid, and we have a lot of bugs here. I waited till late evening to do this, so that I'm not painting it during the um, hottest part of the day where the sun is shining so bright and back to having fear about painting your front door it's paint it like if you paint it and you don't like the color you just repaint it paint is the easiest way to make a change and update the home um, especially the exterior so um, sorry there's traffic going by um, so anyway I'm gonna start painting and um, show you what it looks like
Okay, so this is a rough draft first coat. And if you're painting a door for the first time, this may be where you freak out <laughs> because it looks a little rough. And it does. Um, it will take two coats, maybe three, depending. And I will say, though, um, this paint does not require any prep work as, as far as sanding and that type of thing. To get rid of brush strokes, I do a light sanding in between coats, and that will totally change the look of the door. So, I will um, let this cure for the hour that it takes to dry and come back and do coat two. Okay, guys, so it has been a little less than an hour, um, and this coat has dried completely. So I feel comfortable closing the door. Um, nothing is wet around the edges. Um, I am gonna let this cure overnight and then I'm gonna come back early in the morning before it gets super hot and muggy again and come do coat two with the bigger brush uh, that um, Amy Howard sent. And I will t video that for you guys as well so you can see the process. So I'll be back in a little while. Okay guys, I finished with the door. Um, and let me get out of the way so you can see. It's very bright out here, but I think it totally changed the way it looks out here. So I'm gonna back up and give you another view. Um, and I will say it took three coats, um, but I think it turned out really well and it adds a nice pop of color. 